happy. New Year, you want to get down, don't you? He's like, I've had enough of this camera life. It hasn't even begun, Teddy, yet. Say Happy New Year. <laughs> I think I can hear the bin men. You don't understand how excited I am about the bin men. Jamie, the bin men are here! Oh, this is a good day. Today is a good day. Basically, we thought the bin men... <laughs> Happy New Year. We thought the bin men had forgotten about us because we got this little leaflet through the post which kind of like had revised times because obviously there was Christmas and New Year and there was a few bank holidays in there. Um, and they were meant to come on Saturday, I think? No, yeah, Saturday instead of Friday. So we got all of our recycling, we have a lot of recycling, got all of our recycling outside ready and Saturday morning came, no bin men. Yesterday I was kind of hopeful as well, I was like, they might come today, I know it's Sunday. Um, but they didn't, but now it's Monday morning and look. Where are they? Cats are watching as well. Teddy is down here and Tilly is just here and they're both looking up at the window. I think they're as surprised as me at the bin men. There he is. If you're wondering why he's got a wet head, it's because he has recently discovered the tap he takes after his big sister and earlier he had his full head just under the tap. It was so fun. I can't quite get the knack of it like Tilly. Um, I feel like Tilly has perfected her tap drinking skills. But his little head is all wet. you got a wet little head, haven't you? Hey, little boy. Aww. And a happy new year from Tilly also. Happy New Year, everyone. Oh, hello. Hello, darling. Okay, so pre-warning, the house is currently like a cat sanctuary, as Jamie likes to call it. And there's lots of just <laughs> strange looking toys around. This is some kind of squirrel, I think. Yep, Teddy enjoys that one. There's two of those, because they both love that. Some kind of flattened mouse over there. What else do we find on the walk to the kitchen? Oh, this one, which I'm not gonna lie, at night, I do kind of think this is a piece of roadkill on the kitchen floor. Like, it's just... Like, who designed this? I don't know. Wait, let me put me down because I feel like that was a terrible introduction to 2021. You're all having a lovely, positive start to 2021. It is currently the first full week of the new year, which I just love. I love a new year. I think it's such a... It's such a positive thing, and I think it's so... I don't know, it just feels nice. It feels good. I feel like New Year New Me. Hello. Hello, little one. He has come to go back to his tap. Um, sorry, I feel very distracted. This is my life now. I have no morning routine anymore. It's gone out the window. I am the most unproductive person in the whole world because all I do is follow him around and take videos and pictures of him. It's just my life now. So, I feel like we haven't had a proper catch-up since like before Christmas, which is actually, <clears throat> Christ, which is actually crazy. I've missed you all so, so much. I've missed filming so much. It's felt so strange to just have like a week off and not pick up the camera and not chat with you guys and not update you on things and happy to be back filming today. It feels really, really good. I feel like this past week, just having a little bit of time off, I feel like somebody has actually plugged me into the wall and recharged me like it feels good it was very very needed and I don't really have that many updates for you this is my life now I now work in a cat sanctuary I devote my life to a very small little kitten which is sat right next to the camera my life is now devoted to you my love do you know what, when we first got him, we brought him home on Sunday afternoon last week. So he's been here literally for a week and a day because today's Monday. And when he first came home, Tilly literally, I thought I'd ruined Tilly's life. I was so worried about her because she was just, here she is. She was just not a happy cat at all. Um, yeah, she, she was fuming. There was hissing, there was growling. I've never heard Tilly hiss in my entire life. There's just cats everywhere and I absolutely love it. Look, so many cats. Look 
could you move your tail please my darling anyway yeah she was not happy then it got to her the next day she was still not happy she wasn't even really coming in the same room as him she wasn't eating it was very stressful and then it got to like tuesday or wednesday and she'd sniffed him a lot she'd hissed at him a lot like there was a lot of a lot of noises going on but on like wednesday she just accepted it she accepted that he was staying i think maybe on sunday or monday she thought that you know he might just be temporary and he might be going back soon um but i think by wednesday she just realized that he was staying and it was so cute because they just started playing together and now a week on they literally love each other and it makes me so happy they nap together they're constantly like in the same room as each other play together and it's just really cute and like she goes looking for him and it's really really cute i i feel really happy that she has just accepted him and she's also super gentle with him as well like when they do play teddy will full on like whack tilly and tilly will just like tap him because she knows he's a baby so let me show you around the cat sanctuary so this is teddy's little safe room it's a bit of a mess at the moment so do excuse me i like to kind of clear everything out each day and just have a hoover around and clean up but i haven't actually done that yet because i only got up about half an hour ago so this is the utility room which is now just his safe room this is a room that he goes if we pop out if when we go to bed and it's just somewhere where he can't like get into any mischief or do anything naughty he's fine in the day just to be around anywhere um but he does need someone to just watch him because i have caught him chewing a few wires haven't i i just wouldn't want him to hurt himself in any way so happy when he's in here because i just know that he's safe and we also have a camera in here it's genuinely like he's a baby <laughs> and you can actually talk to him through this jamie got this from amazon i'll link it down below because it's really really good but at night i pop this in here and he sleeps on top of here and we can see him on the camera and it's so so cute <laughs> oh dear there's a fight on the worktop so currently just getting my life together i've just had a lovely hot shower i really just need to get back into a routine in the mornings um since getting teddy and since like having time off and not having a purpose i guess i i just fallen out of my routine and i find it so incredibly hard to get back into one once i'm in a routine i'm fine and i love it but to get back into the routine it's so so hard so yeah i'm just working on some form of morning routine as soon as i have one i shall share it with you um but at the moment i'm kind of just winging it i've exfoliated i've shaved i'm feeling brand new so over this past week i've been really giving my skin a lot of care um over the whole like christmas period i had such a bad breakout now i'm not sure what it was it could have been a few things it could have been the amount of crap that i was eating at christmas or something else that I thought it might be was I was having loads of baths over Christmas and in my bath I was putting a whole concoction of different things. I was putting bubble bath in there, bath salts in there, I was also putting a bath bomb in there and I would always like splash my face in the bath so I think it might have actually been that. Obviously I shouldn't really think you're meant to put like bubble bath on your face especially not a bath bomb on your face or bath salts so now when i have a bath i really try not to get my face wet or i like put a face mask on before i actually get in the bath yeah my skin between christmas and new year was just so painful i had two giant spots here but they were like they were like the under the skin spots where you feel like you're growing a new head that was basically what i felt like one as well which was the mother of all spots that i'm currently massaging you can actually still see it here it was like inside my lip and one side of my top lip was just huge because it because it was inside my lip it like really swelled up i feel like it's still a little bit swollen now and oh my god at one point i couldn't talk it was that painful i had to be like I can't talk so yeah every morning and evening i've just been really trying to focus on skincare just to kind of get my skin back to normal and i think now i'm back to like healthy eating as well that will help massively i find if i eat unhealthy foods it really does show on my skin i feel like i'm excited to just start eating healthily again um 
I'm sick of feeling like a slug, but like I said, it's so hard to get into that routine. So I've just used some of the Elemis Cleansing Balm, the rose one, which I need to order some more today because look, it's literally, I'm on the dregs. Guys are probably so bored of hearing me drone on about this, but it's just so good. If you're looking for a new cleanser, highly recommend this. It's brilliant to like melt off your makeup, um, but then it's also a brilliant everyday cleanser as well. It really just moisturises your skin. And I always find as well after using the cleansing balm, my skin is always just so much like brighter as well. I really, really love it and it smells unreal as well. And then over Christmas, Espar actually very, very kindly sent me this huge trunk of all of their skincare products i've really really been enjoying pampering myself with all of those products and trying new products as well a new favorite exfoliator is this Espar refining skin polish so good i like to do this every other day at the moment i'm getting quite a lot of dry skin at the moment i think just because the weather has turned so cold i'm pretty sure it was like minus three the other day it was incredibly cold and I find by exfoliating every few days, it just really gets rid of any dry skin. Whenever I get dry skin on my face, it's really itchy. And I hate that like irritated skin feeling. If you are struggling with like breakouts or like dull looking skin at the moment, it's so normal this time of year. I always find at the beginning of like a new season or like a different type of weather, like if it's really cold or really hot, I always have a breakout because my skin's like, what the hell is this? Something that you can really, really easily add into your life that will make such a huge difference is, is lemon and mint water. I've said this so many times and I feel like before you try it, you're kind of like, yeah, lemon and mint water is not gonna make my skin good. If you make up a big jug of water with a whole lemon in there sliced up and a big handful of mint, and you leave it in your fridge all day and you just pour yourself a few glasses of water from it, oh my God, after like a week of drinking lemon and mint water, your skin will just look glowing. And it's really, really good for like your digestion and stuff as well. But yeah, if you haven't tried lemon and mint water yet, please try it because it works wonders for your skin. So a new skincare step that I've been absolutely loving and I look forward to using this every single day is the Espar Optimal Skin Pro Serum. And it's like an oil and I love the lid because you push this in. I love that and you can just rub this in but I like to use my Foray UFO 2 with it because I just find it works so much better when I use this you can just massage this into your skin and like give yourself a little facial but this step I find really does just add a little bit more moisture back into my skin once the serum is all massaged into my skin, I am just going to pop a little bit of moisturiser on top of that because I find I did a few days of just using the serum and leaving it on, but then I popped a little bit of moisturiser on top and I found it just like locked it all in. So I'm using the Espar Optimal Skin Pro Moisturiser, really, really, really nice moisturiser. Quite lightweight, which I love. I think it goes really, really nicely with the serum because I think anything too thick would feel quite heavy on your face. I do usually use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream in the day and that is still one of my favourite moisturisers ever. But I'm just kind of trying to switch things up a little bit at the moment. I find if I use a product all the time for months and months and months and I don't really seem to get the benefits from it that I did at the beginning. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes if I go a few weeks without the product and then I use it again, I'm like, oh, I remember how good this is. I'm gonna add a little bit of the 24 hour replenishing eye moisturizer from Espar also. And then last but definitely not least, I'm gonna use some of the saint Tanning Face Mist. Um, if I have fake tanned, which I have recently, I did it the other day, after cleansing my face two times a day and also using my skin polish every other day, I find that my fake tan does come off my face quite quickly. By just popping a little bit of this on every morning and night after I've done my skincare routine, it keeps my face the same colour as my neck.
introducing you to my favourite creation on planet earth. I know I said a few weeks ago that I didn't need a coffee machine, but I mean, I didn't realise I needed one until I bought one. You know what's funny? Ever since I spoke about a coffee machine, um, I feel like Siri was listening to me. And after I mentioned that I didn't need a coffee machine, there were so many ads with Nespresso coffee machines and I bought one and I don't regret it one little bit because it's the best thing I've ever bought from John Lewis. I'll pop a link to it down below. Um, but I also bought as well a spinning pod holder which it just makes me so happy. Um, I bought loads of different pods from Nespresso, but I tried a lot of them. And my favorite two are the Vanilla Eclair and also the Caramel Creme Brulee. Oh my God, they are so, so yummy. I usually have one of these sort of like mid-morning as my second coffee. I'm still on the hard stuff in the mornings, which is my instant coffee, but mid-morning I like to have something with a little bit more flavor. So my favorite coffee, which I've made so far, is a vanilla or a caramel pod. Both of them are my favorite, but then I fill up my little milk frother with oat milk and it just makes it so creamy. And then I either pop a teaspoon of sweetener in there or I tried the other day a little bit of caramel sugar-free syrup which was so good I best believe I've been on Amazon ordering all the sugar-free syrups but this just makes me so happy every single day making myself a really lovely coffee also how cute is this mug by the way this was from Morrison's they had loads of really nice ones in there when we did our food shop at the weekend and this one as well which is Jamie's mug and, and this one which is like a stone bottom with like really faint flowers on I just thought they were so pretty. Like I needed any more mugs, but Jamie fully supports my mug addiction now. But I just thought these were so pretty and perfect for a lovely mid-morning coffee. Cheers everyone. Our first coffee together of the new year. So I've had a little bit of spruce up since the last time you saw me. Um, I just put my hair in braids because it's actually my new favorite hairstyle to have when I just don't want my hair touching my face. I find buns are brilliant, but throughout the day they do kind of just like slip down my head. Um, and fun fact, well actually it's not a fun fact at all, it's actually quite a boring fact. I only learned to do French braids in the summer. I remember watching so many YouTube tutorials trying to teach myself how to do it. I feel like I could do it when I was younger, but I just, I, I couldn't. I was like, how on earth do people do this? But with much practice, I actually feel like they look okay now. And what I actually do as well is just get a single hair extension and I actually clip one just at the very bottom of my head here and here, just so it makes them a little bit longer. Yeah, whoever invented French braids, thank you, because they are very, very practical. Mm. Still got the blooming label on this. Didn't even know there was one down there. Oh no, it's one of those labels that just does not want to come off. Oh. I give up when it does that. When a little bit peels off, I'm like, do you know what? You can stay there forever. Another mid-morning drink that I've really got back into having every single day is lemon and ginger tonic. This is the lovely Lydia Elise Millen's recipe and it's amazing. I forgot how much I just love having a big jug of this in the fridge. I actually made this last week, so I've got about two more servings in there, but I'm actually gonna make a nice new batch today. I have it every single morning and it's brilliant if you have any like digestion problems or you find yourself getting bloated try drinking the lemon and ginger tonic because it really really helped me i used to get extremely bloated after like any meal any food that i had my stomach would just blow up and it would be so uncomfortable and i find if i have this drink in the mornings i don't get bloated at all like i don't get stomach ache and again this is brilliant for your skin mum absolutely loves this as well i actually sent her lydia's recipe and she makes herself a batch every single week and for christmas she actually bought me let me just get it this which has been an absolute lifesaver so grating ginger is like the bane of my entire life it's so long and I found myself getting real lazy with it and not wanting to make the lemon and ginger tonic because I hated grating ginger. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, I don't know where that came from. I think a bit of teddy went up my nose. I'm also gonna start making nice little hummuses and dips and stuff. So I thought that'd be nice, like to have with lunches um, and just to keep in the fridge as a little snack. Yeah, this is gonna come in really, really handy. It's so easy to use. Oh, Teddy, you look like a really mini version of Tilly. You look like a really mini version. Do you want the tap on? There you go. 
So like I said, I'll leave the full recipe down below, but all you will need is some ginger and also some lemon. Now I like to actually put loads of ginger in mine because I really, really like that like zing of the ginger. So I'm probably gonna use most of this. up i would usually leave this in bigger chunks and grate it and it would take absolutely ages but not now i have my mini chopper plus i feel like i'm on qvc or something but it really is amazing and then all you do is pop it in there you pop the lid on which usually takes about half an hour how to figure out how to actually put it on i was doing this the other day like how does this thing work and then i realized I had a little lock thing there which matches that side Ta-da! Then all you do is press this. Sorry, Teddy. It's okay. Oh, I don't want to press it because it's scaring him. It's all right. And then that is literally how easy it is. And it's all just in tiny little pieces ready to be made into tonic. <laughs> is all squeezed and my ginger is currently just boiling on the hob in some water so whilst that's doing its thing i am actually going to make a little banana bread i have these very sad looking bananas here which are so overripe and whenever they do kind of get to this stage i like to pop them into a banana bread because it saves waste in them and i love banana bread so today i'm going to be making a new recipe that I haven't tried before. I've been obsessed with the old Great British Bake Offs. They're all on Netflix and I've loved watching them. So I saw this one online and I thought I'm gonna be a little Mary Berry today and make this. So I'll link this down below as well, just in case you have any bananas like this in your house and you wanna make something out of them. So something I'm gonna add, which actually isn't in the recipe is these dates. I love adding dates to recipes. It almost tastes a little bit like sticky toffee pudding. Like it's honestly just so delicious. So yeah, if you like the sound of a sticky toffee banana bread, then try adding dates because they don't actually taste like dates when they're cooked, if you know what I mean. refilled my little bottle here which just stays in the fridge and then I can pour it into a mug each day banana bread is cooking away it smells absolutely incredible oh my god look how nice it looks I think it's ready oh my god it smells unbelievable <gasps> wow that looks so good thanks Mary Berry I think this might be my favorite banana bread recipe i wish you could smell this so much it smells so nice it's playtime oh my god i could watch these two play all day it's so funny i don't think i've ever seen tilly as active as she is when she's playing with teddy it's so funny he always hides in this little box here and just like sneaks out and swipes her I'm so happy she's got a little play friend. It makes me so happy. Oh, watch out, Teddy. She's seeing you. <laughs> it's so cute as well because he mimics so many things that she does. Um, like, like she was on her blanket the other day and she was padding it and he started padding it behind her. It was so cute. Um, Teddy, I don't think Tilly is gonna like your head up her bum. be nice to each other he keeps putting his full head up her bum and i think she is not a fan of that <laughs> you're right you okay darling oh 
Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> you two are a nightmare. <laughs> Be nice. Be nice. Oh my god. Earlier. I went upstairs, just saw a grey ball just rolling around the hallway and it was just both of them on top of each other. <laughs> just had a thought, I haven't shown you the new cat run which Jamie built. I've popped it on my Instagram story, but I haven't shown it in a vlog yet. So on New Year's Eve, Jamie spent the day building this cat run, which I'm so happy about. You guys know I've wanted to get a cat run for the longest time for Tilly because she's always been an indoor cat, um, but she does love like sniffing the fresh air and watching the birds. And this is just perfect. She can sit here and watch all the birds. I'm gonna get some like little shelves for in here and some scratches and stuff. So it's a little bit more fun than just kind of like concrete, but here they both are. Hello. <laughs> But it's completely safe. There's absolutely no way of them getting out. We did check all of the gravel down here um, because we thought they might be able to dig. The other side of this is actually next door's um, drive, so it's just concrete. But they've been out here a little bit, but they both don't like it when it's windy, and it's quite windy today. But <laughs> Tilly's getting like, blown back. But I think they'll absolutely love it when it's a little bit warmer. I don't blame you two for not coming outside. It's freezing out here. Oh, bless her. Right, come on, it's too cold. Right, come on, you two, it's too too windy. We'll get blown away. Get back inside. So, it's now nearly one o'clock, so I'm gonna make us some lunch because I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Um, I never usually eat breakfast. When it gets to about one o'clock, I'm usually quite hungry by then. I think we might have all of the stuff for chicken wraps, which I really, really fancy. I made them the other day and they were so, so yummy. I'm gonna make sure that I've always got the bits in the fridge to make chicken wraps because um, they're just like a really easy healthy lunch to have lettuce tomatoes do we have spring onions oh we do for the chicken wraps i have got these gluten-free white wraps then this flame grilled chicken which i'm probably going to cut up into like really thin slices then I've got some baby gem lettuce, some large vine tomatoes, some spring onion, and then also some cheese, and I've got some mayo as well. But I think actually I might use these dips, which I got from Morrison's at the weekend, which look so yummy. A basil mayo, an onion and garlic dip, and then also a red pepper and tomato dip. So I might actually pop one of these in the wraps because I think that'll be really, really yummy. Oh, goodbye, Teddy, on a treetop. When the wind blows, the baby will rock. Is it time for your lunch? Seeing as you're licking an empty bowl. For Teddy's little lunch, he has these biscuits. This cat food, which is basically like pure chicken. He absolutely loves it. So, can you hear him? He does this horrible little noise whenever I open one of these cans and it's like Rah! I give him a quarter of a tin in here and then mix it with some biscuits. Teddy you are genuinely like having a small child. Come on then little boy. Come on then little boy. Let me clip that in properly. Hang on. Okay, now little Teddy is happily eating his lunch. I can finally make my wraps. Can I have my lunch now? <laughs> no doubt you'll want a bit of that as well. up here he loves to be able to see exactly what's going on i'm surprised he hasn't been able to smell this chicken and he hasn't made his way up here
Hello, you too tired to open your eyes? Very warm, I think he's been sunbathing. Usually in the afternoon, all of the sun comes through here and lands on the sofa, so you've got the perfect little spot there, haven't you? And then over here, as always, we have got Tilly in her little fruit bowl. <laughs> Good afternoon my loves. So it's a few hours later on in the day now and I've just had a nice cosy little afternoon on the sofa. I've actually just been catching up on a few work bits on my iPad and I've also been filling out a little bit more. I'm literally balancing my coffee on my lap, probably shouldn't do that. I've been filling out a little bit more of my manifestation planner. Um, so so many of you have asked about this after my last video. But when I went on Amazon to find the link, for some reason this exact planner is unavailable, not too sure why. Um, but there's one really, really similar to it that I have every single year. This one's just a little bit more detailed. Um, so I'll pop the link for this down below so you can keep an eye on if it comes back in stock. I hope it does, I have no idea why it's unavailable. I've almost completed it, I've just got a few little bits left that I need to fill out. But it's one of those things where you really have to be in the mood. Today I had to read through these questions which I haven't read yet. And these are to empower your day, so they're like questions to ask yourself every single day. I've been having a read of these and then just thinking of some answers. And then I've also had a proper read of this today which I haven't, I've looked at before but not in depth and I love this little section here. So this whole page is basically action steps to make you feel good. Basically the better you feel the higher your vibration will be and the more you'll be able to manifest. So it's got some really good tips here actually for self-care and then giving back and then entertainment. And then as well I added a few more life goals on there. I still need to think of 25 more of those. I also as well wrote down my monthly goals. I always like to break my goals down into months um, just because I find it a lot more manageable. So what I usually do at the beginning of each year is I do like my yearly goals and everything that I would really like to achieve by the end of 2021 but then each month I will kind of break them down into 12 little chunks so I can really focus on certain ones each month and an hour or so doing that. And I've also as well just finished planning the rest of this week. I love this planner because it has times so I can really just schedule everything in and it's nice to just open this first thing in the morning and know exactly what I need to do. If you are struggling to be motivated, I know like sometimes at the beginning of a new year, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to be really productive and motivated all the time. If you're just not feeling like that and you're struggling to kind of get yourself motivated. Find a little cosy nook, light some candles, get a nice drink and make yourself a plan for the next day. Even if you only have a few things to do, I find it's just so nice to wake up each morning and have a plan. Um, and then you don't procrastinate and you don't kind of end up doing nothing. So yeah, if you are struggling with motivation, try making yourself a plan each day. I've also as well been reading a few quotes out of my Everything You'll Ever Need book. What I like to do every day is flick through like this. And then whichever page my thumb stops on, I like to read that quote. And I kind of like to think that that quote was chose for me on that day. <laughs> I know it's silly but it's something I look forward to doing every single day and then I'll read this page and this page and if you follow me on Instagram you will know I love popping these on my story every day and they're just the kind of quotes that you read and just it make they make sense you read them and you're like I can relate, me too. So my loves, my plan for now is I'm gonna catch up on an episode of Breaking Bad. I don't know if I told you that we started watching Breaking Bad. We started it, I think it was about a week before Christmas and we've been absolutely hooked. It's one of my favorite series that we've ever watched and we just love it so much. So every single evening we watch a few episodes of that but I actually let the team down last night and I fell asleep in an episode. So I'm gonna catch up on that this afternoon. So then tonight when we get into bed, we can watch a new episode together. But yeah, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad on Netflix, I just can't recommend it enough. It's absolutely amazing. And we're currently on season four, episode seven, and there's only five seasons. So I'm getting that like sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach that it's gonna end soon and it makes me feel so sad. Yeah, I'm gonna catch up on that. And then the boiler man is actually coming over to service the boiler in about what time is he coming it's currently three o'clock so he's coming about in between four and five once he's been to sort the boiler out i am going to get changed into some nice cozy clean pajamas and get started on dinner it's time to cut the banana bread 
Oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells like just toffee. Oh, yum. Yummy. This looks amazing. So I've been filming these little day in the life reels on um, Instagram and they've been so fun to film. I've pretty much been doing one every single day. So I'm in the middle of doing one today. Let me show you today's one is this one so here's a little sneak preview of today's one it hasn't got any music or anything on it at the moment i need to pop some music on when i've got all of the clips but i absolutely love making these they're just so satisfying to watch and i love like documenting all of my favorite parts of the day really love doing them but i need jamie's hands so he can film me cutting this I used him earlier for this part so he could hold it for me. He's just upstairs working away. I've sent him a message saying, can I borrow you? And earlier I said, could I borrow your hands when you have a sec? I know what you're thinking, how lazy you could just go up and ask him, but he might be in the middle of something. And you know when you're in the middle of something and you don't want to be disturbed, I always just send it. And then he can read it when he's got a minute, but I need him to hold my phone. <gasps> You know what this means. I just wait patiently for Jamie to have a wee like. Here we are, cameraman. Could you go this side? Yeah. If you could just hold it like. So where do you want it? Uh. Just like there, but just like do a little like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Go. Wow. Perfecto. I need you to do another one whilst I put a bit on a plate. And then, guess what? You can eat the bit on the plate oh, God, for your you? reward. That's perfect, thank you. Here you are. Taste test. You ready? Taste cheers. test Why do of cheers the sticky toffee banana bread. Mmm. Mmm. Delish. White toffee. Because the dates. That's not what you make toffee out of. I thought you make sticky toffee pudding out of dates. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Google it. It's heated up dates and butter and sugar. I thought it was just made out of toffee. That's how you make toffee out of dates. No, it's not. L literally, we have so many arguments because I'm right and he will not accept the fact I'm right. Hey, Siri. What is sticky toffee pudding made out of? Dates. What is sticky toffee pudding made mm. out of? That is delicious. Oh, Siri's not. Oh, do you know why? My headphones are connected. Siri never works. That is so nice. You don't think that tastes of toffee? Mmm, delicious. So nice. Anyone who wants to try the Merry Berry banana bread recipe, add dates. Even if you don't like dates, add dates because they don't taste like dates when they're in there. They taste just like pure toffee deliciousness. What if you're allergic to dates? Well then don't put dates in. Mm -hmm. Wanna show everyone your uh, favourite Christmas present ever? It's Apple Watch. Do you know what, It's I, I was slightly regretting buying him an Apple Watch. I would probably say Brilliant. like a few days after Christmas because all I heard was, I can do this on my Apple Watch. I can unlock the door on my Apple Watch. I can put myself to sleep on my Apple Not Watch. Unlocked, I can feed myself on my Apple Watch. I wipe my ass with my Apple Watch. Set house alarm. Boom. How to make sticky toffee pudding. Pidding. Pidding. <laughs> sticky toffee pudding. 75 grams of dates. It doesn't even say toffee on there. It's because dates make the toffee. <laughs> Evening everyone. It's now quite a lot later on in the day what time even is it god it's 27 i actually thought it was earlier than that i thought it was about six um i feel like i have no track of what time it is at the moment i think because the mornings are literally dark until like half eight <laughs> and then it gets dark at like half three we only have a very small amount of daylight hours so it just kind of like messes my brain up i just realized how much of an actual grandma i look Got my pyjamas on, got a little cardigan on. Oh my god, that is so fizzy. I actually feel like my head is gonna like burst. You know when it goes all up your nose? I'm gonna start making dinner. We're having something super easy tonight, but it's actually like my favorite dinner ever. Um, we had stir fry, I'd probably say about 
maybe five six times last week just because it's so easy so yummy healthy and there's not very much like cleaning up to do after so my favorite stir fry ever consists of i've got some chicken breasts in here and they're in tin four because we used some yesterday then i've got the protein noodles from morrison's which are so hard to get hold of i find they never really have these ones in stock um but i love these ones then i didn't buy a stir fry pack i've actually stopped buying the packs because since i've been using the hello fresh recipes you just use individual ingredients and i enjoy the stir fry so much more because there's always something in a stir fry pack i'm not that keen on so my favorite little recipe at the moment is these mini peppers i love these because you get a little bit of everything and i mean they're mini they're just so cute then i also use two spring onions i'll use the whole packet of the tender stem broccoli because i'm trying to have a lot of vegetables at the moment and then pak choy ultimate favorite i love this stuff so much and then for the sauce, I have got teriyaki sauce. I do love the plum and hoisin one the best, but they didn't have any. But teriyaki is a firm second favourite. Then I always, always, always put coriander on the top because it's so yummy. This is literally like one of my favourite things ever. It just makes everything taste so fresh. myself in like hours and i'm so pink I feel like i might have stir fried my face it's so hot oh, we have now finished dinner jamie is on dinner duties for the cats it feels so weird saying cats i feel like i now have two children wow i really do look like hagrid forgot that i had a little extension in as well yeah our plan for now is i've bought myself some watermelon up because i am on a health kick now I'm not eating any more chocolate. I was actually sat in bed last night with a box of Thornton's chocolates. And at that moment, I thought, Do you know what? Tomorrow is the first Monday of January and there's absolutely no way I'm continuing the rest of the year like this. Yeah, as much as I enjoyed every single second of my Sunday night demolishing nearly a whole box of chocolates, I decided at this point it just needs to stop. So today is day one of my health kick. I've not eaten any chocolate today which I'm very proud of, and I've brought my watermelon to bed, and then as soon as I've eaten this, I'm gonna brush my teeth to stop me eating anymore. That's my little trick in the evenings. Brush your teeth so you can't eat the chocolate. Oh my God, why is my face so hot? I'm literally burning up, guys. What's going on? So, me and my little pink face are gonna go ahead and end today's vlog. I really, really, really hope you have enjoyed it. It feels so good to be back, honestly. I have just felt on cloud nine today filming it's felt so nice to catch up with you all and and i'm just so excited for this year so i'm gonna love you and leave you we are probably gonna watch a few episodes of breaking bad tonight what time actually is it it's quarter past eight so we like to try and be asleep by about 10 um because the earlier i can go to sleep obviously the earlier i can wake up and i'm really trying to just get back into a routine of getting up at half six because when I was getting up at half six, I just felt so good. I felt so productive and I felt less tired, as strange as that sounds. I'm sending you all the positive vibes for the rest of the week. And if for any reason you haven't had a great day today, remember tomorrow is a brand new day. Love you all so much and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.